Today, we're going to the motion sickness medicine for the kids first. <laughs> Today, we're going to go to the Phuket Immigration in Phuket Town. We're going to try to get a 60 day COVID extension, but most likely they're only going to give us a 30. Let's go see if we can get lucky or not. One, two, three. Oh. Hello. Hi. We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. The good thing is if there is no parking here, you can park on the street and there is a park nearby as well, about a hundred meters away. So, but we got lucky. First of all, can you explain the difference between getting a 30 day versus a 60 day extension? Yes. So first of all, the 60 day is a COVID 60 day extension and that is only a temporary thing. So in most cases you will be applying for the 30 day extension and that applies to most tourists, not everybody. And what that does is depending on how you entered, e either with just a stamp or with a visa, in our case, we entered what is called a TR visa. We came in on a 60 day and we are allowed to go to immigration and ask for a 30 day extension. And we've done this many times in the past already and we've never had a problem. However, right now there is a COVID 60 day extension that has been going on for over a year and they've been renewing it like every 60 days though each time they say it's the last time. So we, when we first came here, we were assuming it really was the last time, but they extended again until November 26th. So, so we wanna squeak in, it is November already, and get that 60 day while we can. Real quick, we want to mention some etiquette when visiting an immigration office, since it is a government office. It's appropriate to dress in a modest fashion like you would if you were visiting a temple. So for women having their shoulders covered, you may want to wear a long skirt or a long dress that covers your knees and no little thin spaghetti strap, camisole, tank top type things. Also for men, they shouldn't wear a tank top either, a nice shirt. I think technically men are supposed to wear long pants, but other than our family, pretty much everybody was there in shorts. Just be respectful, be courteous of the culture when you're visiting. The decision is within the discretion of the officer, so it pays off to be polite, prepared, and respectful. Now, can you go through the list of all the required documents for applying for an extension? Sure. So if you are gonna apply for the 30-day extension, these are the forms that you will need. You will need the TM seven form this form i highly recommend you download it from the web just do a google search and you can find it download it and have it prepared ahead of time it's going to save you a lot of time and headaches if you come with that form filled out already a passport size photo for each person you are also going to need to have photocopies of your passport as well as your entry stamp or your visa and also your tm6 which is also your departure card when you leave thailand you're going to need copies of all of those and just a side thing, they want actual photocopies. So for instance, we took pictures with our phones and then I imported them to the computer and cropped them just to make them look better. And they did not accept those. They were not happy with those at all. They wanted, they said they're all no editing. And even though I didn't really edit it. So when you make your photocopies, they want them to be the exact size as if they were the actual passport or your photos or anything that you have. They don't want anything that looks altered. So for instance, we also had um, when we took it to a, one copier, for some reason, it printed out our passports like huge. So they were like twice the size as, as the normal and they weren't happy with those either. So finally, they just got fed up with us and they just went and printed the rest of them for us because we had to constantly go back to the copier as well. So that, that's another good thing is there is a copy uh, machine place on site. It's, it's in a separate building, but you can get things copied, but that just slows the process down. So really, if you come prepared, it's going to save you a lot of time and headaches. Now the cost for the 30 day and the same with the COVID 60 day extension is 1900 baht per person. Okay, so now if you are going to apply for the COVID 60 day extension, again, this is currently for November 26th. We don't know if they're gonna extend it any longer. In addition to all those forms and everything for the, for the 30 day extension, you also need to fill out an STM2 form. And there is an additional COVID 60 day form, which I couldn't find online, which you might just have to go there and fill out. It's basically just a couple of questions. And the main thing it's gonna ask you is what is your reason for wanting to stay in Thailand? And one of the check boxes is because of the continuing pandemic, which is what we checked. And also was it a TM30 from our hotel or ah. accommodation? That's something we didn't come prepared with. Right, right. So that also you need a TM30 form and that has to be completed by your accommodation. 
and you can you should do that ahead of time luckily in our case even though we forgot the the people at immigration were super nice and they're like, well maybe you can call your hotel and maybe they'll send it to you and i'm like okay so we luckily we did we called our accommodation and they took care of it right away they went on they have to go online to the immigration website and fill out this tm30 form and then you have to print it out and present it as well with all your other paperwork so all applications all photocopies for each person they're going to need their own paperwork prepared and in addition to that everybody needs to be there Okay, you can't present. just show yeah, everybody who, who's getting an extension needs to be present. Once he had submitted the paperwork, the kids and I had been sitting in the waiting area. We had to come up to the officer and hold our little number in front of our face while he took our photo. So each one of us had to get our photo taken and be present there in the office. We had a rental car. Some people are there by taxi and then their driver was just waiting for them. Do keep in mind that the office closes for lunch between noon and one. So if you show up right before noon, you might have quite a long wait. Right. Yeah. And then so the if you are going for the 30 or 60 day extension, you need to go upstairs. There's a bunch of places around the building. And so it's like you don't really know where to go, but it is the one that is upstairs in the front. Once you get inside, it's not quite clear what you do or where you go. So you will see three or four windows right up at the front. Those are volunteer helpers of immigration. And luckily for us, there was an English speaker. It was a French man and he was super helpful, super kind. And as soon as we went up there, he looked at our paperwork and he says, you should definitely just apply for the 60 day COVID extension because the time is coming up soon, November 26. So we agreed to that, but we didn't know about the TM30 form at the time. TM30 from our accommodation, which they are sending us by email right now, and we're going to have to fill out a couple more things as well. Mm -hmm. So Heidi's filling out some more forms. And then we went back in, and again, there doesn't seem to be any structure in there. So I just went up as soon as I got a chance to go talk to somebody, one of the other volunteers, and she went through all the paperwork, made sure everything was correct, and once that was done, we paid our fee, they gave us numbers, like Heidi said, and then we had to sit for a period of time again. This entire process took about two hours and right at 11.45, we were like, you know, crossing our fingers thinking we were gonna have to come back after lunch. They gave us our passports back. There is a small area in this air conditioned room that has seats to wait in. That was much better for me and the kids to wait because we had been outside filling out forms for a while and it was so hot and humid that we were all getting kind of miserable and cranky. So if you can find a place to sit inside in the air conditioning, that makes the wait a lot easier. There's also a restroom up there and there's an additional restroom outside. And again, if you forgot to, to make your copies, there is a photocopy place in the back. So what happened? Did we get the 30 day? Were we lucky to get the 60 day extension? Neither. What we got back instead was a receipt and paper saying that it was under consideration and we were told to return a couple days before our current visa would expire. Now, I think the reason they're doing this is if they had just gone ahead and issued our 60 day extension that day, it would start running right then. So we would miss out on a couple weeks that we could be in Thailand. Whereas if we come back a couple weeks later and they start our 60 day extension from then, we'll get to stay longer. So I think they're doing that as a favor but it does make it a little bit up in the air for us. We still have not officially gotten our extension. So for as far as planning hotel stays and plane tickets, it'll be nice when we know for sure, but I'm pretty darn sure when we return close to our original exit date that we will be given that extension. Yes, in fact, right after we got our passports back and I saw that I went back up to the front to ask the volunteer again. Again, these are just volunteers, so we don't know for sure, but they were very confident. They're all, oh yeah, you're gonna get it on that day. They just want you to come back on this day to get it. But, the 60 days. Yeah, but I mean, why can't they just post date the stamp? I don't know. So this is nice for us. It means we will be able to stay in Thailand about a month longer than we were mm -hmm. originally planning which is great, it will take us through the Christmas season. Yes, and then also this turns out to be more economical for us as well because, because there's five of us, we paid 9,500 baht and versus if we would go for the 30 day and we wanted to extend it again, we'd have to pay that twice. So we'd be quite happy with the 60 day because we would probably exit Thailand after that point. We're hoping at that point other neighboring countries are open so we'll have somewhere else to go. Our family of five is traveling long term. Please subscribe for more travel tips and inspiration.